what's up youtube and welcome to today's video uh in this video we're starting a new series and i don't know what we're going to call it yet but we're going to call it like um it's kind of like a dis deconstruction kind of video so i'm going to show you guys a picture i took and i'm going to explain step by step everything i did to kind of achieve the look in this picture uh, we're heavily inspired by the amazing john grass shout out to john grass he shoots men so wonderfully well so uh, we took inspirations from his work and tried to recreate his style, kind of, right, with our own twist, okay? So um, the first thing is that in all of these pictures um, that you're going to be looking at, we're using just one light. So we wanted to see the different variations in ways that we could use one light to create different looking images and also make one light look like we're using multiple lights. So as you see in a second, um, let's look at the first image, okay? So this is the first image, and as you can see, yeah, this is the first image, and as you can see, um, it looks like we have, say, what, three lights, so one coming from camera left, one coming from camera right, and then one coming from the top. So, um, yeah, but how did we achieve this with just one light? So I'm going to show you the BTS in a second, and let me just group these together. So as you can see, what we have here is, um, we have a, a octa box, and this is a massive um, Ellen Chrome octa box. And we, what we've done is that we put the V flat. So this is a V flat from V World. We've used this as our background, just right uh, in front of the octa box. So what this does is it kind of separates this light into three different lights that can help us light our subject, right? So that's how we achieved this first image. Very simple. Uh, as you can see, we shot. I shot with the 105 mm because the V-flat is very big and wanted to compress that background. So if you have a longer lens, it's easier to help you achieve this kind of image. Um, the other thing I would say is um, you would also, the longer lens would also help you in terms of like flare, also the kind of lens you have. So because you're shooting like right directly into the lights and you don't want um, to start getting all that flare in your image. Now the third thing is try and move your subject further away from the V-flat. So you can, there's enough um, space for these lights at the side to travel to kind of rim your subject like that. Now we're going to move on to the next image. And yeah, so in this image is pretty much the same thing we did, um, but this is more like a fuller body shot, as you can see. Uh, when you're shooting guys or you're trying to shoot anything that involves, you know, showing muscle or showing, it's always good to use rim lights to try and accentuate you know, the curves, accentuate the contours on the body, as you can see here. So there's no light coming from the front whatsoever. There's just one light coming from behind the camera, and that's what we're using here. So uh, pretty straightforward, the reflex is behind him, and we have the lights hitting him and rimming him really beautifully. Um, so the next setup is for this image right here. And this is also just one light. Uh, let me show you what it looks like from behind the scenes. Right, so this is one light. We've taken out the V flat from behind him and we put them on either side of him. Now, you notice that we are using the black sides of the V flats. And the reason we're doing this is because my studio is white and everywhere is white and I didn't want the light bouncing around. Okay, so they, they call it this negative fill. But what it does essentially is that you know the black absorbs the light and prevents it from getting to the walls to or to any places where it can bounce back onto our subjects, and that is what is allowing us to have these really crisp black shadows on our subjects, even though we're like blasting light from him from behind. Okay, so um, using two V flats on either side of him really helps to it gives it more contrast, really. So that's what it is. It helps to give more contrast to the image. So this is our third setup and still just one light, same lights. So um, yeah, let's move on to the next setup. And the next setup is this. And this is like the opposite of what we did earlier. Like, so if you see the behind the scenes of this, you would notice that what we've done is that we have inverted the V flat and we're using the white sides of it now. We're using the white sides because we want to catch most of the light coming from the Ellen Chrome Octa box here. So they are hitting this, and this V-flat is, this is not the full picture, but it's um, like L-shaped, 
And so it's hitting the sides and filling, and it's also hitting the front and filling. So that's why we have this kind of look, which is slightly different from the other look. So we'll just put them side by side to compare and see the difference, right? So in this one, we have a lot more of the skin tone showing. It's not as contrasty. It's just a different look. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section, which ones do you prefer? I'm not sure which one I prefer. I can't pick. So uh, you guys pick A, A or B. Yep. And that is pretty much it. That's it. So we did one, two, three, and four. Right? Uh, four, one and two are pretty much the same. So let's just say we did three different light setups with one light. And yeah, that's it. So uh, guys, if you have any questions, ask in the comment section below. Uh, also, I'd like you guys to suggest uh, who you want us to take our next inspiration from. This is from John Grass. I would love to do for Lindsay Adler or somebody else or any of, you know, just let me know or if there are pictures you want me to deconstruct, right? Or to try and recreate. So you can share those images with me, send them to my email address, you know, and let's try and get this series up and running. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Shout out to Samuel for being our amazing model. If you are not subscribed to the channel, uh, subscribe now. We plan to put out videos every week. Every week now, I'm, I'm giving myself a goal in 2023. Maja is laughing behind the camera <laughs> to put out a video every week. So this is one of the one of the new kind of videos that we're going to be putting out. Also, let me know your suggestions on on what you think about this.